Good morning. I have been uh, working on the motorcycle a little bit. It hasn't been running perfect yet. There's still some work to do here. Um, mainly it's the carburetor and it's all because of the bad gas. The gas that had been sitting there it just hadn't been winterized. So um, yeah, I pulled the carbs a couple times, varying degrees of success. Um, I'm going to pull it a third and hopefully last time. And this time I'm looking at the float bowls. Uh, it's the only part I didn't really touch last time I pulled it out. And uh, I believe that the carb is flooding and that the float bowls are stuck open. So I'm going to go check that out, see if I can clean it out. But what you should see should be already pretty clean because I've already cleaned the hell out of it the last couple days. So shouldn't be too bad. I just want this thing to run nicely so that I can go places like Tofino. It'd be exciting. Get this trip started. <laughs> All right, so these are the carburetors and they're twin carburetors arranged backwards from one another because it's a V-twin. Um, they're not that much fun to get out of because uh, this is a 1999 and it has a lot of new electronics on it and other stuff that's kind of annoying to deal with but at its core it is just a carburetor so don't be scared let's do this Well, the news isn't so good. Uh, so far, everything is clean, and that's not a good sign to me because I want to find some dirt, so I found some solutions, and it looks like I still have some more digging to do. Oh, there it is. That doesn't look so good. This is part of the bowl fill situation. It's uh, the filter and it is quite gummed up. It looks like it was probably leaking. So I think that's how, something to do with it. We'll clean it up and see what else we find. All right, I've sealed the cards up. I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, I'm just a little worried, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna do a test without the air box on it and see if there's leaking coming out of any of the valves. And uh, now comes the least zen part of motorcycle maintenance and that is fitting carbs back onto the boots. Yeah, not a lot of fun. Let's just get it done. All right, so I intimately looked at every single part of that carburetors and then, you know, I can't find a single spot where it should be leaking. So uh, bolts it all back together really snug. I've got kind of the basics on. I don't have the air box, but we'll take a look and fire it up and see what, uh, see what we get. Here's hoping. I didn't film it, but as soon as I turned the fuel on via the ignition, the uh, gas just started pouring out the flood valve, this tube over here. And once it goes out of there, it kind of comes out of everywhere. So it's kind of a mess. So uh, yeah, it means that these valves in here, the float bowl sits up and pushes a valve into these and there's a little filter on them, a little rubber gasket. And that keeps the, uh, the bowls from flooding. Those haven't been working. Ironically, I just took them out and cleaned them and they look fantastic. So this is actually the old one over here and this is the new one right here. And as you can tell, there's a little bit of wear and that rubber maybe is the hardest thing, but if you actually look at the valve itself, it looks perfect. 
and I've got to make sure I put the right one in because they're really hard to tell apart. Anyway, I'm going to swap them in. Hopefully that fixes it. solve the problem by doing a deal with the devil. Success! Chan! Boing! <laughs> it doesn't hold! It's not yeah. made for a dog. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> oh, he okay. looks like a Martian. <laughs> Alright, the motorcycle's back together. Time to take it out for a little spin. We're going to do a little bit of a moto social event tonight and uh, grab some food and yeah, hopefully uh, she's up to the job. <laughs> All right, so yes, it's not leaking fuel. Yes, it that is fixed. Um, it's still running a little bit rich. I think I set the idle screws too high, so I'll be taking those back. But so far, you know, it's working out the kinks, and the longer I drove it, the better it got. Carburetors, man. It's kind of like a living thing. They're a bit weird. But yeah, I'm feeling good about it. Feeling really good about it because uh, soon, my buddy Sam is gonna help me outfit this with a battery bank. I'm picking up my, my camping gear soon. So she's gonna turn from uh, grandpa motorcycle into adventure motorcycle very, very quickly. I'm excited. All right, let's get this meetup going. Some good coffee, some good friends, some good bikes. Check it out. Alright, so this is Moto Social, and this is Victor. He is one of the founding members of Moto Social. Is that appropriate to say? Founding members? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my wife and I started it. Perfect. Alright. <laughs> well, what is Moto Social? Uh, the Moto Social is just a monthly get together that okay. we've organized so that people can meet each other. And you made it nice and broad then, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's Bring welcome. It. You don't even need a motorcycle. Just come meet people. Yeah. Ride Moto your bicycle centric. down. Moto centric, yeah. but yeah. Moto centric, like the motorcycle or the moto lifestyle or the 
curiosity about the motorcycle lifestyle is the common interest or the common thread of the event, but the human connection or the people socializing, people meeting each other, integrating into whatever city we're in, city life. Yeah, so you're, this is all across Canada and South Africa, is that correct? Yeah, not all the way across Canada, but uh, yeah, five cities across Canada. We haven't fully gone to Do the- Do we have more cities than that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I haven't gone out to like, the east coast okay so cool. it's uh it goes like essentially montreal is the farthest uh okay. east city yeah ottawa toronto uh edmonton and vancouver cool well i'm gonna have to check out the one in ottawa when i get there yeah yeah okay. it's going on super strong in ottawa it's super good right all right yeah cool that's motor social check that's it out i'll leave a link in the description you can check out his instagram it's huge and <laughs> things are happening it's really cool cool bikes cool people <laughs> nice people